Welcome to class. Today I'm going to be teaching you resistivity. Now the street lights get automatically switched on in the evening and switched off in the sunlight. This is because they sense the brightness and the darkness due to the presence of photoresistors in them. Resistors are versatile electric components that are commonly used in almost every electrical device around you. The main function of the resistor is that they offer resistance to the flow of electric current in the electrical devices. Resistivity or electric resistivity is certainly the inverse of electrical conductivity. Electrical resistivity, also called specific electrical resistance or volume resistance, is a fundamental property of a material that measures how strongly it resists electric current. A low resistivity indicates a material that readily allows electric current and it indicates good conductor of electricity, of electricity. while high resistivity indicates poor conductor of electricity. Resistivity is certainly the measure of how strongly a particular material opposes the flow of electric current on conductors or resistors which, with a certain uniform cross-section. Furthermore, uniform cross-section is the one where the current flows in a uniform manner. Resistivity is commonly represented by the Greek letter Rho. The SI unit of electrical resistivity is ohm meter. Resistivity commonly symbolized by the Greek letter Rho is quantitatively equal to the resistance of a specimen such as a wire multiplied by its cross-sectional area and divided by its length, that is Rho equals Re over I. The unit of resistance is the ohm. Now in the meter kilogram second system, the ratio of area in Square meters to length in meters simplifies to just meters. Thus, in the meter kilogram second system, the unit of resistivity is ohm meter. If lengths are measured in centimeters, resistivity may be expressed in units of ohm centimeter. The practical implication of resistivity of materials is important as it enables the right materials to be used in the right places in electrical and electronic components. Materials used as conductors, for example, in electrical and general connecting wire need to be able to have a low level of resistivity. This means that for a given cross-sectional area, the resistance of the wire will be low. Selecting the right material depends on knowing its properties, one of which is its resistivity. Now in this lesson, we have learnt about resistivity and how to calculate resistivity of a material. I'm sure you enjoy the class. I'll see you in the next one.